What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mermaid RTA. So this is the last product in our series on Tiger Tech, with a big shout out and thank you going their way, of course, for allowing me to take a look at this device for the purpose of this video. And with that being said, this is a very unique and interesting sort of build deck situation. It's kind of a hybrid between an RTA and a GTA. It's got that sort of floating build deck thing going on where you can just tuck the cotton down into the little holes and then trim it from underneath, which is really, really cool. So taking a quick look online, this device is available in black and stainless steel. I, of course, have the black version, as you can see here. And the price is going to be anywhere from $20 to $37. Now, I know that's a huge price gap there, and I feel like that's because currently, from what I can tell, it's only available on the Chinese retail websites, and they tend to undercut each other a lot. But I will provide you guys with links right down there in the description if you want to grab one for yourself. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got the Mermaid RTA in its original box. So let's quickly take a look on the packaging and then talk about what's inside. So we have the picture of the device with some spot gloss, which you should all be used to by now. Tiger Tech logo, the little fish skull design thing here. On the bottom, we have Tiger Tech once again with their website. On this side here, we have some company information. And on this side here, we have the scratch off authentication, color indication, and their social media info. And on the back, we have some lovely little graphics here with the spot gloss as well, some warnings and some basic features there. So let's take a look inside. We get the mermaid itself, of course. We get a spare glass in case you break it. We have a full Delrin narrower bore drip tip slightly narrower bore than the uh, one that comes on the tank there. And in the bottom of the box, we have our obligatory parts package. We have a little screwdriver. We have a full set of O-rings, but I'm not seeing any screw heads. So that's kind of concerning. What if you end up losing one of those things? I don't know. A little bit concerning to me. And oh, look, we got a little escapee here. The world's smallest O-ring, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, let's go over the specs. It's 24 millimeters in diameter, stainless steel construction, 510 threading, top fill design with a dome chimney, gold-plated dual post build deck, easy to lock coils, dual coil configuration, easy to place cotton, bottom adjustable airflow, bottom AFC rings with stopper, and it includes an 810 wide bore drip tip. All right, guys, so let's go over this thing from top to bottom like we normally do, starting off with the drip tip. This is one of those short and fat sort of 810 drip tips that you normally see it's made of Delrin and it fits in there pretty nice and one interesting thing about this device is that the bore on the chimney almost matches the bore on the actual drip tip which is pretty impressive you don't really see that all too often on RTAs and just to prove that it is in fact 810 we have our tester tip here and it fits nicely in place no wiggle or wobble or anything uh, it's secured with a single o-ring right inside the lip of the top section and as you can see on the top cap there it shows the tiger tech logo which is kind of a nice touch threads on this thing are absolutely gorgeous no problems with those whatsoever there you can see the fill ports right there and there and it's uh, got an extra little o-ring there to prevent any leaking and on the top section you could probably see the little dimples and uh, not sure why they did that exactly, but hey, there you go. So the chimney section is all one piece and it is fixed in place. There's no removing this piece here. And as you can see, it's got that little fish skull logo thing going on as well there. The glass is really nice and sturdy, feels solid, and it's very easy to remove. If you do happen to break it, you can just easily replace it with the one they give you in the box there. And there you can see the chamfer right on the inside of the chimney. So here is the build deck itself, and with these big chunky headed screws here, you can tighten them down using a flat headed screwdriver, Phillips headed screwdriver, or if you use something cylindrical, you can see the little holes on the edge of the actual screw heads themselves. You can actually tighten them down using that, which is kind of an interesting thing. You don't really see that all too often. Uh, they are clamp style, so very similar to like the Goon or a lot of the other clamp style RDAs out there, but uh, they're also spring loaded, which makes it really nice because when you loosen them up, they just pop right up and you can slide your wire right underneath there. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
So uh, that makes for really super easy building. So here you can see those airflow holes, which is plenty of airflow in my opinion there. You can also see the little holes for your wicking, which makes it really super speedy to wick this thing because all you gotta do is just tuck the cotton down into those holes there. And then you can come up from underneath because the build deck is slightly raised with your scissors and just kind of trim off the excess there. Just speeds up the whole process and makes it really easy. So here you can see the AFC ring from fully open to fully closed. It does have a stop which is nice so that way you know exactly where your airflow is and it has that matched little dimpled design like on the top section there on the bottom here we have the mermaid rta logo and the tiger tech logo and the gold plated 510 pin which does protrude ever so slightly so i guess technically this thing would be hybrid safe but uh there you go so that's about all i've got for you in this little up close section let's go back to the main screen have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off today with the pros, and my first pro is it has very smooth airflow. Now, I know I complained about the Morph RDA's airflow being really, really rough. Well, this is the exact opposite of that. It's very smooth, it's very comfortable feeling, and it's very natural feeling as well. You can kind of just take a nice, full, deep lung inhale, and it feels really good. So as far as that goes, the airflow is very smooth on this one and I'm really enjoying it. My second pro for this one is it's easy to build. Now the build deck itself isn't anything super special but one thing I absolutely love is the fact that these screws are big and chunky and they have the hole going through them so that I can get that extra little bit of leverage by putting my screwdriver through the hole or something like that when it just needs that little final twist. Sometimes I feel like I'm done twisting on the top and then I need that extra little bit of leverage. That hole makes it that much easier for me to build this one and that definitely earns a pro in my book. My third pro for this one is that it's easy to wick. Now, as I mentioned in the intro to this video, it kind of has that GTA sort of style build deck where it's slightly elevated. All you have to do to wick this thing is run your cotton through the coil, tuck it down into the holes that are right there on the bottom of the build deck, and then you can snip them off from underneath, which just speeds the whole process up and makes this a dream to wick. My fourth pro today is the wide bore tip. Now, the tip itself isn't anything super special, but when I see a wide bore tip on a tank, I'm I'm expecting a wide board chimney to go along with it. And that's exactly what they delivered with the Mermaid tank because when you take off the tip, you notice that the bore is nice and wide as you saw in the close up view. And the actual chimney section is pretty darn close to that diameter. And with that, you get a little bit extra room for that vapor to go straight up through there and it smooths out the airflow and you actually do get a little bit more vapor when you're puffing on this thing. So it's not a complete fake out like some of the other tanks that I've been seeing lately where they have this massive wide bore tip and and then it condenses all the way down into a 510 size. And my fifth and final pro for this device is that the threads are nice and smooth. There's no squeaking, there's no hesitation, there's no lurching, there's no grinding or anything like that, which I can absolutely appreciate. The machining is very, very well done on this thing and I absolutely love it. Uh, I really love when you're taking off the top cap. It is absolutely super duper smooth. It feels like a well-made piece of machinery. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con is with the paint job on this one. Now, I'm not sure if it's a coating or if it's actually painted, but with that, I do have a little bit of a nick up near the drip tip. You guys probably noticed it in the close-up section, but with that, it kind of concerns me further because these little uh, dots in the upper section and lower section here are not painted, which means there's a ridge somewhere in there, and that can cause it to flake and chip off even more after time. So I can't even imagine after a few months of use with this device here, what this thing will look like. My second and final con for this device is the low juice capacity. Now, I know three and a half mil is not that low in the grand scheme of things, but comparing this to its competition, you're talking about four, five, six mil juice capacities. And this one's sitting down here with three and a half, which lasts me about 45 minutes to an hour while vaping on this thing. So it could have done a little bit better with that. Maybe a, an extra couple of millimeters taller and they would have been able to fit at least four mil in there. And that can definitely be an issue for me because I tend to go through juice on this thing really, really quickly. Yeah. <sighs> 
So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? And I'm gonna say yes to this one mostly because it's so easy. All around, just easy to build, easy to wick, easy to fill up with juice, and everyone deserves a good RTA just to build and mess around with. If I could pick this one up for around the 30 to $35 mark, I definitely think it would be worth the purchase, even if it means waiting the three to four weeks for shipping from China. And if you guys wanna grab one for yourself, I'll leave links right down there in the description below. So that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you wanna be alerted whenever I upload videos. Don't forget to leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the mermaid or anything else you guys wanna discuss. Don't forget to check out the description of this video. That's where you're gonna find the advocacy and my social media links. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on.